Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple uh, login form. Um, it's going to have no registration, so maybe I'll do that later in the future. But just for now it's just going to be a simple login form that you manually enter in the username and passwords into a database. So before we actually start doing anything, um, we need to um, create the database. So load up your local host um, and enter PHP my admin if uh, you don't know how to get local host um, you need to download um, a local server which is um, I'm using WAMP WAMP I can use XAMP uh, there's a few others uh, but just download like a host local host that um, supports PHP and uh, MySQL. First of all we need to create a new database here and um, we're going to just create this database uh, what should we call it <laughs> login and click create and let's create a new table here called uh, users and just for now we're going to use three fields one will be the ID the second one will be the username and the third will be the password so click go and here now we're creating um, uh, why have we only got we've only got two fields login right, okay. users um three fields go there we go I've got three now right so in the first one we want the ID and uh, it's going to be an integer um, and we want it to be an auto increment second one is the username and we'll have that as a varchar length uh, we'll do it as 15 uh, that'll do and the password uh, that as a varchar as well and we'll keep that as 15 characters long as well so once you've done that click on save and there we've got uh, we've created the table so if you go to insert up here we can now insert um, a username and password leave the ID blank because that's our auto increment it'll do it itself so for the username I'm just going to put ash and the password I'll just put pass. I wouldn't recommend you use that password. Uh, click go and that's now been added to the, uh, the table in the database. So if we go to browse up here you can now see that ID 1 username ash password pass. Okay so now we've set up the, uh, the database we can open up uh, Dreamweaver and Uh, open up a blank page and we need to save this as um, index.html and in this html we're just going to create our login form and a bit of html code um, so we're going to form action is going to be equal to and we're going to create a login page which will be login.php and the method of this page is going to be post um, so now we'll create our input boxes so input type is going to be equal to a text and the name of this is going to be username and create another input box but this time we're going to have it as a password and the name is going to be password Okay, and one last input box, and this one is going to be 
equal to submit and the name is submit right so we created our little input form uh, we also need value on the end of here which will be login right so if we uh, save that out right well sorry we need to close the form off first there we go so if I now uh, you can get rid of this page now if you really want to and load up that you see we've got our form now but can't really see what you're doing so um, I'm going to add a bit of user friendly in here user name put into there and password there and we'll just paragraph these breaks off save that out refresh and now we've got something that looks like that so now we've got a simple HTML form um, and in part 2 of this tutorial I'll show you how to create the the PHP code for logging the user in so stick around for part two.